Hello everyone, this is spotlight video for our paper Structured Bayesian Pruning via Log Normal Multiplicative Noise. In our paper, we obtain structured sparsity of deep neural networks. First of all, structured sparsity provides us with a tool of acceleration of deep neural networks. Also, it can be used for efficient compression and for obtaining small representations for later usage in image retrieval. In this work, we focus on removing whole neurons from the dense layers and removing filters from the convolutional layers. However, our model can be used to induce any fixed pattern of structured sparsity. Consider a dense layer as an example. To remove its neurons, we multiply its outputs by noisy variables theta. If some thetas have collapsed to zero, we can permanently remove corresponding neurons. In our model, this multiplicative noise is parametric, and the parameters phi of its distribution are trainable. To achieve sparsity, we put a sparsity-inducing prior over theta, and use doubly stochastic variational inference to train the parameters of the noise. After training, we can calculate the signal-to-noise ratio for the noisy variables. It can be used as a measure of importance of the corresponding neurons of filters. If a neuron has low signal-to-noise ratio, it does not carry any information and can be removed. If the signal-to-noise ratio is high, the neuron should be retained. We optimize the variational lower bound, which consists of a data term and KL term, or regularizer. During the training procedure, we sample a batch of the data from our dataset XT and sample parametric noise theta using the reparameterization trick. Using these samples, we can compute the stochastic gradient. We have chosen the log uniform distribution as our prior for its sparsity inducing properties. As we have positive theta, the log normal distribution is a natural choice for approximation of its posterior distribution. A random variable follows log normal distribution if the logarithm of this random variable is distributed normally. The log uniform prior is improper which in this case leads to an ill pose model and a degenerate variational posterior. This problem can be handled by truncation of prior distribution and variational distribution. Here we truncate both distributions to the interval from A to B. The truncated log uniform prior distribution still retains its sparsity inducing properties. However, the model now becomes proper. We compared our model with other sparsity-inducing techniques on the LeNet architectures on the MNIST dataset. As you can see from this table, structured Bayesian pruning achieves the highest level of sparsity and the highest acceleration with no accuracy degradation. We also applied SBP to deep convolutional architectures. Results for pruning of different layers of a VGG-like network on CIFAR-10 are presented on this slide. The largest layers of this network were severely pruned with almost no accuracy degradation. The width of the 10th layer dropped from 512 filters to only 9 filters. The gray bars correspond to SBP annealing procedure, where we specify the first layers more aggressively. Here we report the same results for a larger network. The width of all layers is 50% larger than in the previous experiment. We achieve even higher acceleration with lower accuracy degradation. Finally, we've conducted the experiment with random label data. Conventional regularization techniques like binary dropout still lead to severe overfitting on this scenario. This experiment shows that our structured Bayesian pruning model can regularize well and produces an empty neural network for randomly labeled data.